finally wearing that sweater I gave you last Christmas. It was two Christmases ago. <laughs> Which reminds me, Bomber Haskell's home on leave. And he's got a bunch of these great blasters, only $90. Can I buy one? A blaster? You mean one of those portable stereos with 8,000 watts and incredible sound? Yeah. Can I have one? When trees talk. <laughs> Honey? can't pick you up after school today. I have an appointment at Jermaine's body shop. Something wrong with your car, Grandma? Uh, no, Jermaine's is a salon. I'm treating myself to a day of beauty and relaxation. I'll bet you'll look a lot better when you're finished with you. I'm begging you. I'm your son. Of what? Dad, please. This is not a piece of junk. It comes with a two-week warranty. Are you gonna get up, or do you want your dish on the floor? <laughs> Hello? I didn't think he'd go for it, but the sweater was a nice oh, touch. <laughs> I'm going on a field trip and you're not. Ha, 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 ha. Well, Big deal. Ah, you're just jealous because oh, yeah. you're stuck Today. in school all day. Well, I, well, I, I get to look at real yeah, live dead mummies with my friends. <laughs> it's going to be the bestest day ever. And your day just got better. Petey McVitie's mom got a bad perm and she won't come out of the bedroom. So I'm going to chaperone your field trip. Sure, anything he wants. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> right, guys, break it up, break it up. Hi, everybody. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Hi. Uh, Wally, can I borrow some film? Yeah, sure. What kind of camera? What kind you got? <laughs> Beaver, what do you need a camera for? I'm a chaperoning Oliver's class at the Museum of Natural History. Oh. He gets to see the mummies. On our field trip, we got stuck going to the yarn factory. I always like the yarn factory. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Uh, how do you load this thing? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Well, I'm off to the salt mines. I uh, think I'll go kiss the baby goodbye. Oh, honey, you'll wake him. Oh, he's never up. Well, that's funny. I'm up with him all night. You know, tonight, if you wanted to see him... Um, yeah. gotta run. <laughs> Bye. Hey, great timing. My husband just left. You know, um, maybe the bee's got the right idea. I think I'm gonna take the day off today and spend it with my kids. Oh, uh, really? Oh, sure. It'll be great. I'll just sit around the house here doing nothing but enjoying them and having fun like you do. Mary Ellen, could you take a delivery for me? Sure. I'm going to spend the whole day at the salon. Oh. Hey, I'll take the package for you, Mom. Mary Ellen won't be here. <laughs> she's going with you. And she's going to get the works. Wonderful. <laughs> Who's going to take care of Kevin? His father. Oh. Did you know about this? Well, I guess if I let Debbie Crumbine's little sister babysit, I've got a You look. sure do. <laughs> now, come on. You two run along and have a good time. Wally, are you sure? No, uh, I'm Theodore Cleaver, the chaperone. Oh, yes, Billy's father. Oh, he's one of my best students and such a good little helper. No, uh, I'm Oliver's dad. Oh, well, he's always very nicely dressed. Thank you. Hey, Ollie, your dad's talking to the teacher. What did you do now? Oh, nothing. He's gonna be a chap, a chap. He's coming with us. Oh, great. With your dad spying on us, we won't be able to have any fun. The field trip will be a dud, and nobody's happy. No, no, my dad's not like that. See, he likes me to have fun. He's a grown-up, isn't he? Well, sort of. <laughs> children, children, it's time to get on the bus, so let's light up the order. <laughs>
morning, Mrs. Cleaver. My, that's a lovely... Well, Clarence, I do believe that's Wallace. <laughs> Will you clowns knock it off? There's nothing wrong with a guy taking the day off and spending it with his kids. Unless you take the day off to play a little golf. Hey, we can get in 18 holes and still belly up to the bar by two. Life's good. Well, as tempting as that sounds, my son and I have plans. Like what? A drooling contest? Come on, Wally. What are you, one of the guys or one of the girls? I'm one of the guys that's going to knock your block off unless you get out of my face. You're beautiful when you're angry. <laughs> Bye, Mom. friends should be ashamed of themselves. Huh. Little chance of that. Hi. I'm Morgan Tanchuk. Huh. Wally Cleaver. How old? 38. Uh, your baby. Oh, um, two months. His name is Kevin. This is Vanessa Diane Tanchuk. She's four months and very gifted. <laughs> Blue square. Blue square. <laughs> Red circle, red circle. Flashcards? Mm -hmm. Do they really get anything out of it at this age? I'm sure the average child wouldn't. <laughs> I wish my husband had more time to spend with Vanessa Diane, but he's a very successful attorney. You can only imagine how heavy his workload is. Oh, Norman Tanchuk's your husband? Mm -hmm. Well, if his disbarment proceedings continue, He'll have a lot more time to spend with Vanessa Diane. <laughs> nice talking to you. All right, class. Now remember to exit the bus single file and in an orderly fashion. Six, eight. Where's Anessa? 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 <laughs> hey, guys. My dad says this isn't nutritious enough, so I gotta trade back for my roast beef sandwich. But you said tip caps, no trade backs. Tip caps don't count with fathers. Right, everyone. Buddy up, buddy up. That's right. All right, now line up on me. Here's my buddy. Very good. <laughs> Class, class, now let's be good citizens. Mrs. Livermore, can we go see the mummies first? Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid the treasures of ancient Egypt are not on our schedule today so that we'll have time to fully appreciate the special traveling exhibit, Footwear Through the Ages. Uh, now, let the adventure begin. It's a good thing we brought the camera. <laughs> ah, there you go, slugger. Yeah. Pretty soon I'm going to be teaching you how to throw and catch. Or how to go to your left for a grounder. Of course, uh, maybe basketball's going to be your game. And starting at forward, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Believer. Believer, believer, believer. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> so I'm almost as bad as Miss Red Square Blue Circle. Heck, I don't need to push you. You'll find out on your own what it's like to throw your first snowball and fall in love, drive your first car. <laughs> you know, a convertible's your best bet. A red one. The girls love them. <laughs> uh, there I go again, planning your life. And look, I just want to be there when you want to know what makes it rain. Or when you have your first strawberry ice cream cone on a warm summer's night. 
when you see the Wizard of Oz. And when you, when you say Daddy for the first time. <laughs> hey, you, you turned over. Hey, you're a natural athlete. Oh, that's my boy. By the end of the 14th century, the toe had become so long, it had to be held aloft by a chain attached to the knee. Isn't that interesting? Oh, 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 I'm so glad you were all paying attention because your assignment tonight is to write an essay based on our exciting trip to the museum. Come, class. This is duller than my grandmother's birthday party. Hey, let's sneak off and see the mummy. Yeah. I don't know. What about Miss Livermore, my dad? Uh, they'll never miss us. Look at them. They actually care about this junk. We better not leave at the same time or they get suspicious. Right. We'll draw straws and see who goes first. Okay. Wait a minute, we don't have straws. Then you go first. Hey, just thinking. I don't think I like that idea. Come on, what are you, scared of the mummies or your daddy? <laughs> Keep an eye out. And then voila, the shoelace. And now, on to the comfort of the 20th century. Hey guys, have you seen Oliver? Oliver, Oliver. Oh, you mean that red-headed kid. <laughs> no. Where is he? Uh, it's me. But I bet he didn't go looking for the mommies. Yeah. <laughs> doing in there? Oh, gee, you found me. <laughs> now you go hide. for the junior chipmunk meeting. Hey, no problem. I'll bake you a cake. Okay, Dad. You bake a cake and I'll tune up the tea bird. Hey, come on. I know how to cook. Remember uh, that time I made noodles Romanoff? Wasn't that the time we had to throw the pot away? <laughs> I don't remember. <sighs> what next? Uh, take the pieces of eggshell out. No problem. <laughs> okay, here we go. 57, 58, 59, 60. <laughs> hey, Wally, we decided... <laughs> oh, no, it's too late. We lost. <laughs> Wallace Cleaver. Don't you remember the Haskell Guide to a Successful Marriage? Women stay home and cook and take care of babies. Men go out and do whatever they want. <laughs> Don't you guys have anybody better to annoy? Nope. Hey, you know, Wally was a good old guy. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> Catch you later, uh, Hazel. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Hey, don't slam the... <laughs> Hold on, Mom. Dad? Yeah, but not as much as Mr. Rutherford and Mr. Haskell did. Delivery from the Emporium for Mrs. June Cleaver. Dad, a delivery! Shh! Baby, it's a good guy. Hi. 
Because we're going to be a little late. Having some trouble scraping the honey off Mary Ellen. Uh, listen, I'm going to let you go now. I think my cake is ready. Oh? <laughs> You go in the den and do your homework. We'll discuss the possibility of you having dinner later. Hi, Bomber. Good afternoon, Mr. Cleaver. That's a handsome suit you're wearing. Thank you very much. That's a nice sweater. Kip has one just like it. Not anymore. <laughs> Where did that blaster come from? Uh, Taiwan. You traded the sweater I gave you for that thing? Oh, no, the sweater was just a down payment. I still owe him 15 bucks a month. Go get the sweater back. Oh, Dad, he won't give me the sweater unless I give him the blaster back. Smart as a whip. Oh, Dad. <laughs> believe this, but uh, this is the first cake that I've ever baked. <laughs> really? <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. Well, what's that? Well, it seems that somebody forgot that our little Kelly needed a cake today. I didn't forget. Hmm? Wow, Mom, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I better get going. You're taking mine? No, Dad. I'm taking ours. Oh. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. Bye. Well, it looks like somebody was a big hit today. Yeah, I, uh, I did okay. <laughs> hey, you look pretty okay yourself. I do, don't I? <laughs> so, um, baby asleep? Yeah. Hey, I got a good idea. What? Clean this up, will you? I gotta take a nap. <laughs> hey, Beef. I owe you one. For what? Well, if it hadn't been for you, I would have wasted my whole day down at the office. Instead, I had a great day with my kids. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody had a good time with their kids. I'm thinking about trading mine in for folding chairs. Why? What happened? Well, I went on that field trip to have a good time with Oliver, and instead he ends up hating me. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. It's worse. Kip hates me, too, just because I won't let him buy that blaster. It's a good thing you only have two kids. Come on, lighten up, Beef. You know how kids are. One minute they're all mad, and the next minute they've forgotten all about it. And then there's the kind that carry a grudge. Why can't I just have one day when I'm not a policeman? One day without any problems around here. Ah, it comes with the territory. How else are you going to teach them right from wrong? Yeah, but sometimes I wonder if I'm even getting through to them. Oh, hi, Mom. Boy, you look great. I know. Yeah, I think you should hear this. I found it in the den. It's Ollie's report on the field trip. Oh, let me guess. I went to the museum and I had a lousy day. No, he went to the museum and he had a rotten day. I bet you he couldn't spell lousy. <laughs> couldn't spell rotten either. Listen to the rest of it. My dad had a rotten time too. And I guess the bad time was all my fault. Because I just worried about him bothering me there and how much I didn't get to do. Instead of thinking that not every dad would have come along just to be with his kid. Excuse me. Hi, guys. Mind if I come in? Sure, Dad. 
chair. Hi, Mom. Good night, dear. Remember, every Sunday at 6.35 Eastern and every Monday at 6.05 Eastern, it's the comedy hit of the season. The new Leave it to Beaver. Tonight at 7.35 Eastern, it's what honeymoonies live for. Another lost episode of The Honeymooners. But first, it's down to earth. Next on The Superstation.